guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching today's video is going to be a comparison video of two loose powders that you use to bake with underneath your eyes I was looking on Pinterest and I saw that the Laura Mercier and the Cody Airspun powder were dupes and so I really wanted to put that to the test and see if that's true Some facts about the Laura Mercier is it's one ounce and it's $38 which is way too much for a powder but I got sucked in and I bought it and I've really used so much of it. I've had it for a very long time, but I mean, I took the sifter out and I really have used a bunch of it. So it claims to have a matte finish with a touch of sheer coverage. It works on all skin tones. Um, it has a soft focus effect that blurs fine lines and imperfections. It doesn't settle into your fine lines or pores and it never looks cakey. It's also oil free non and non committed comedogenic. 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 You know what I mean. Okay, some facts about the Cody Airspun powder is this you can get at the drugstore. You can get it at Walgreens. I got mine at Walmart. But it's 2.3 fluid ounces. So it's more than half bigger of a size bigger. So this is like two of these in this. And this retails for $5.97. Which is so very affordable. Especially for how much um, product that you get. Excuse you. Excuse you. Excuse me. Excuse you, you snotty nose kid. Okay, so this one can be used to hide tiny, tiny lines, wrinkles, and blemishes to give a flawless finish. And it can be used as your foundation, or this can be used to set your foundation. So personally, I use this to bake my foundation as I do with this. I used to bake my concealer. I'll bake around my nose, sometimes my chin and my forehead, just to really set the foundation and to set those oily places or the places that I get oily, just so that the oil doesn't break through the powder. It really, really helps. And also, if you set your whole face with a powder, it helps to blend the powders that you're putting on top, like bronzer and blush, so it's not skipping on top of the foundation. So I definitely recommend investing in a powder. I put, I did one one eye with my concealer I used the Urban Decay Naked Skin under both eyes and then I set one with the Cody Airspun powder and I set the other under eye with the Laura Laura Laura, Laura Mercier so I want y'all to look real closely closely if I've had that lipstick on my teeth this whole time I'm gonna be really pissed off so I want y'all to look really closely and see if you can tell which which eye has the Cody Airspun and which eye has the Laura Mercier So I've already applied my foundation and I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And so I'm going to apply that and blend that in really quickly. Okay, so on this side I'm going to use the Cody Airspun Powder. And on this side I'm going to use the Laura Mercier. So I'm going to take my Dampen Real Technique sponge and I just put a little bit of the Cody Airspun powder in here and I'm just going to roll. And then I'm just going to place that underneath my eyes. And down the side of my nose because I get really oily there. And then I'm going to flip the sponge to the other side and I'm going to take my Laura Mercier. And I took the little sifter out of this, so I'm just going to dip my sponge right into that, into the powder, and apply it underneath this eye. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for about 30 seconds, and then we'll wipe it away. So I just wiped off the powder, and right off the bat, I can tell that the Cody Airspun is a lot more drying. Like, I, it just feels really, really tight underneath my eye, and also, I'll zoom y'all in so y'all can see. Like, you see how this one has a little bit more creasing than this one? Like, this one just looks a lot more flawless. And this one, like, you can just see more of my wrinkles underneath my eyes. So, yes, I have noticed that so far. So, I'm going to go. And I know I have, like, a red spot in my eye right here. I was taking out my contacts and, like, I didn't wash my hands and I got something in my eye. And it, like, busted a blood vessel. So, yeah, I just didn't want y'all to be freaked out and think I had something in my eye. But anyways, this is the Cody Airspun and this is the Laura Mercier. As I look, I can tell that the uh, the Cody Airspun is so drying underneath my eye. I really do like it, but I can tell that I have a lot more of fine lines underneath this eye. And this one just kind of set better and it concealed those fine lines and just helped to cover those up a little bit better. 
So yeah, the reason I use the Urban Decay is because I know that this concealer really doesn't crease on me. It really, really sits really well. So overall, I think that if you don't want to blow $38, which when I run out of this, I will not be repurchasing. So I say that, but I love this powder. But spending $38 on a powder to set your under eye concealer just... I can't afford that. I don't know why I bought it. So honestly, I will probably use this, even though it's not as fall a flaw. Even though it's not as much of a flawless finish, I really don't care. I mean, I'll use this. It does have a scent. It smells like it smells like my granny's house or something like that. But I got the shade natural naturally neutral, and they do have different shades in this. They have a translucent, which may work better, but I read reviews, and this one was the one that was like everybody liked the most. They have some couple other shades, so just make sure to check the bottom and check the shade of the powder. So this has been around since 1935, which is crazy. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little video comparing the two and seeing if paying the extra $22 was worth it. So y'all be the judge, and y'all tell me which under eye you think look better. And if you have any other requests for future videos, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified every time I upload. And thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all have a fabulous day, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!